Hi, this is Doris Hartman again, and uh, please excuse the froggy voice. I'm still dealing with some lingering um, hoarseness and sometimes coughing. Um, but <clears throat> for the most part, my energy is all back, and I'm finally up and able. I'm going to do a little bit of a, a book unboxing because this one came um, just before, I think, just before we got sick. And uh, this I had pre-ordered from one of my favorite homesteaders, Jessica, Jessica Sowers. Um, she has a YouTube channel, Roots and Refuge Farm. Um, one of my favorite homesteading channels. There's so many that I really love. Um, I love the calm and peace she brings and um, all the info she shares about uh, her garden um, and garden knowledge. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So, I've been itching to open this. But I really wanted to open it on camera, so I waited. And then I got sick. I was taking care of the family. We all were sick with, you know, wonderful thing. But we're better. And uh, I'm so thankful we're thankful that we're better. Um, yeah, so here's... Here it is. Yay. Here's Jess there. The first time homesteader. Jessica Sowers. I love it. Adorable Jakey. We got a chick um, hatched this Sunday. I'm hoping to bring a little bit of video soon uh, to this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, one of the kiddos with a goat kid. A kid and a kid. <laughs> Just love the um, making a five-year plan. Beautiful pictures of her farm and her animals. A home for the flock. <clears throat> Excuse me. Little coop there. There's her, her hubby, Sweet Maya, she calls him. Um, Maya, Jeremiah, Maya for short. Yeah. Chapter three, meet and freezer. Just a little bit of a walkthrough here. Oh, she's got turkeys, raising poultry. Carried a big, anyway. So beautiful, beautiful pictures. She took a lot of these on her own. A few goats. And a family cow. Beautiful. Look at that cabbage. Beautiful. One of her sons with. Is that a Swiss chard? I think a Swiss chard. Beautiful. Those. All kinds of stuff. Well, there's um, <clears throat> some. I don't have the. Uh, I'm not brave enough to do. To raise um, bees. But. Kudos definitely to whoever does. I just. Um, I like to attract them with pollinating. Pollinator friendly. Um plants but let them help out in my garden but but raising them myself just mm, I can't so anyway here's the back look at the back yay just a few uh look inside that I'm so looking forward forward to reading that <clears throat> you know I coder opened it and read it while we were all sick but you know I was, I don't even know if I was even up to that. 
to my brat. Oh, this one. I actually had opened this before. Um, it's a quite an eclectic um, range of books. I just got three, so it shouldn't be a too long of a video. Guardians of the Fire by Christopher Lewis. He's got another, he's a, a music uh, guy. So here's a little bit. There's a picture of him from the back. Uh, I just thought I'd, I kind of like this kind of fiction and thought I'd support him. So, yeah. Excuse me. <clears throat> and one last one. I got um, some uh, clean, clean romance. I got newsletters, and I uh, uh, she had a uh, um, <clears throat> a monthly or some kind of uh, giveaway, I think. Shirts, everything. Oh, I could just cut it like this. Rip. Put my scissors down. Little book, little paperback. Nice paper. I think I will say that. This is a nice added touch to uh, wrap them before you put them in those boxes. Where the sky begins, where the where the blue sky begins, by Katie Powner. Powner. Sorry if I said that wrong. So I'll get to uh, reading that amongst my stuff. Don't have a whole lot between. Uh, all the my four kiddos, nine down to to five. <clears throat> so I do my crocheting in the evenings, and sometimes, you know, sometimes I just feel like I need to read, and other times I get down to crocheting. But I got lots of stuff to do. I never never nothing to do. So. But it's always good to do something, sometimes just sit and slow down. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.